At the Great Park Gallery, an international art scene fills the Palm Court Arts Complex. Artist Mike Stilke is also a creator, an inventor of sorts, a book lover, and an upcycler. He uses books ready for the bin and gives them a new life and a new purpose. Um, I didn't really like painting on white things. I, I didn't like white paper or white canvas. So I would go and I would look for things with any sort of marking on them. I'd go to thrift stores, I'd find books, uh, record covers, I mean pieces of wood on the street, anything just to take the edge off. Painting on pages inside books led to painting on the books. Eventually, a small book sculpture gallery showing opened the door to big things. The director of Rice Gallery in Houston saw his collection and wanted to fly him out. And then when I got there, they said, here's your wall, and it was 16 by 44 feet. And I made a book sculpture consisting of uh, 5,000 books. Now Mike has been traveling the world, including Hong Kong, France, Manila, and throughout the U.S. Whether it's for a gallery showing or commissioned installation, he, along with his books, make the trip. In Irvine, you'll find 10 years of Mike's work. This is the first time all of this work has been shown in the same venue. Bits and pieces of, of work that have traveled the world. Many of the women in his paintings are influenced by his wife. As far as the titles to his pieces, Mike says the books tend to decide. Actually, a piece I just did in Houston, it's in this you know theater and they have this speakeasy sort of bar. And, and as I was painting this woman, she looked very 1940s-esque. And, and like right in her hair, there was a book and it was called Reworking the Past. And I was like, oh, well, I, I, it seems like I would place it there and I didn't, you know. Over the years, tens of thousands of books have been donated from local libraries and rescued. So the story and their journey continues. That's like one of my favorite parts about the book is that there's this story that somebody wrote and there's the story of the book and where the book's been and then I get this book and then I'm putting my story on it. It's just narrative on narrative. Just, I, I don't know, I find that fascinating. To see Mike Stilke's traveling works of art before they take flight on their next adventure, you can come to the Great Park from now through April 10th. For Irvine Scene, I'm Jacqueline Twagg.